So now we're ready for the A, B, C, and M measurements for the trigonometry section. So let's review the help for this. So first we're going to measure the side A, which is our actuator arm, B, which is the, the control arm length, and then the distance of our mount to, to the axis. And then uh, if our mount has an offset, we're going to measure that, that little offset as well. Okay, so ready? Yes. Step one, side A. They're asking us if we want to retract the arm uh, for, for making that measurement. So um, I'll just go ahead and say yes. Okay, so at this point, we want to measure, enter in the, the length, distance from, from the center of this to the center of this shaft. So it's hard to measure to that center exactly. So once again, we're going to like measure measure to the to the outside of the arm, and we'll measure to to this edge of the clamp, and we're going to subtract half of the width of the clamp, and and we'll, we'll measure the diameter of the end and subtract half of that to get to the center of the end. Okay, so when I measured from the outside of the clamp to the end of the outer shaft, I measured a length of 32.15 centimeters. I measured that saddle clamp width and it was 5.1 centimeters. And the outer shaft through the around the end, I measured that at 1.81 centimeters diameter. So we need the radius instead of the diameter. So we divide those numbers by 2, because it's 2.55 and 0.905. We add those together still and subtract that from our starting measurement of 32.15. So now we're subtracting 3.455, which gives us our final measurement for the minimum actuator arm length. So now I'm going to enter in that minimum length of 28. 695 and now we need to do B the control arm length so once this is the control arm and we need to measure from from the center of this point not to here, but to the center of this. So I'm going to measure to the outside of this. I'm going to measure the diameter of this so I can subtract the radius after I measure the diameter. And I'll once again subtract half of this distance measuring from the outer point here up to the outer point there. Here's, here's the control arm measurements, which are known also known as B. So, overall measured length, 23.38. The center bushing is 4.16. The arm end, 3.16. Add divide by 2, add that together, 3.76. Subtracted from the 23.38. Leaves us with 19.62 centimeters. So, I'm going to enter a 19.62 centimeters for B. 
And next is C. We're almost done here. So, whereas in A, we measured to this point here, it's because we're going to call this distance M, and we're going to enter in that last. So for right now, the C measurement goes from the center of here up to the center, uh, excuse me, up to the center of the primary axis here, right in the, the middle of that. You see that? So, as before, we're going to measure to the outside of this uh, bearing race that that's centered up with it and we'll subtract that the radius divide by 2 to get the radius and subtract that from our measured distance down to the bolt here which will also subtract half of that just like we did before so the C measurement turned out to be 40 6.2 centimeters and lastly this dimension M that is 4.45 4 now if you had an actuator where where the the mounting bolt was was at the very end centered in it when the, then M would actually be zero and you wouldn't need this measurement but with the saddle clamp type mount you need this this number here so this happens to be for a standard uh, small super jack uh, actuator about an inch and a half or so uh, shaft on it so, so that's all the measurement points now we just need to um, do the alignment and we'll be done with this axis.